Good morning. How is everyone? It's the first day of Stitch Long. And it was super sunny just a minute ago, and now it's not. <laughs> so that's just typical, typical me, isn't it? That I set it all up and then something goes awry. So I'll just run over and turn the light on real quick. Um, but I'm actually not going to put it in the hoop thing just yet because I need to go right up to the edges. Um, so I guess I could put it in upside down because we're just going to do the background today. So let's do that. I'll put it in upside down-ish. And then I'll go and put the light on and then we can get started. Good morning! Huh fitting in very well. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just going to do the normal little prep talk, okay? This is going to be a lot of stitching, so you're not going to get caught up. So I do not want to hear, I'm so behind, I'm never going to catch up, blah, 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 because nobody is, okay? I'm not even going to catch up. So I don't want to hear it, all right? I don't want to hear it. The other thing is um, don't compare yourself to other people because you never know how long they've been stitching or you know what their abilities are or anything like that. So we want to keep it positive. I think Jessie's just realized that I'm doing the stitch along. She's just gone to lay in the other room. She's like, ugh, not this again. Sorry, babe. It is. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> so she can plan her breakfast around it. Um, yeah, so if you're going to um, post your progress, you can use the hashtag, hashtag the Barmy Fox S-A-L. Okay, that stands for stitch along. Um, and make sure you go through and leave some comments and some likes on other people's uh, embroideries because it really, really helps. It's so encouraging. I can't even tell you how many times where I'm like, I'm... I don't know about this. I'm just going to post it anyways. And then people will be like, oh my gosh, that's really great. And I'm like, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, one more thing, and I have forgotten what it is. But that's okay. It'll come back to me. Don't worry. So today we're going to use two colors or one color. It's totally up to you, whatever you feel like. I've chosen this like greenish color, like a really light green. And then like a cream. They actually don't have um, numbers on them because these are old threads. I'm just going to get rid of all the old ones that don't have numbers. And then hopefully, hopefully I can tell you the numbers in the future. So I've chosen this um, dark green linen and I'm going to do the sticky solby on top, which you've already seen. Um, and then all I've done is done a one strand stitch around the edge because... When you're working with such big pieces of solvy, sometimes um, if you do a lot of stitching in one area, it can like make the rest of the solvy pucker a little bit, and we don't necessarily want that. So just if you're wondering what this is around the edge, it's just one strand running stitch in and out all the way around. Um, and then when I'm done, I'll take it out. So you can see on this one, there used to be well, you can't see because I've taken it out, <laughs> but there used to be a running stitch all the way around the outside here, and uh, you just snip it out when you um, when you take the solvy out, or before. It's up to you, whichever you feel like. So today we're just gonna do long, straight stitches all the way. The tricky part here is gonna be making sure that they stay straight. So on the big things, we're gonna go down and then back up on the other side. On the smaller things, I just stitched right over it. So over over here, yeah, if you really want to go down and go or make the, the line go around, it's hard to uh, explain it upside down. I don't know why. <laughs> but if you want to make the line go down on this side of the tree trunk and then up on the other side, you can. But it's such a small space that I literally just went over top of it. Yeah. So I'm using the Sticky Solvy because of the dark color um, of the fabric. I wanted to keep the dark color like I did, like I used before. And there's a lot of detail on it. And so I don't want to um, mix 
it up when I trace it. And also it's a little bit more difficult for you guys to see the colors and the stitches on dark fabric. So I thought if I use the sticky salvia again, you'd be able to see the stitches on the white fabric like I normally do. Okay, I'm still trying to think of that other thing I was gonna tell you, but we already did try your best. Don't compare, tagging. I probably should have written that down. So if you use two colors, yeah, one color is gonna be the long stitches up and down and left to right or right to left. And the other one is gonna be the tiny little tacking stitches. So what I did was make a little X. Can you see one, two for each of them? So because we do this, it doesn't actually matter if you do all of the up and downs and all of the left to rights, it doesn't matter which way they go. So for example, sometimes like when you're doing weaving, you have to do all of one first and then all of the other. Um, but I didn't do that. I just went wherever it was convenient. So if it was convenient to go all the way down here and then over and back up, I did that. If it was close to here and I knew I could go straight across, I just did that. So you kind of have to see where the thread takes you in this situation. And like I said, some of these things like here, I just went through. This ladder, I just went through it. I just went through it. Just went through it. Over here with these tiny little things, I just went through it. For the leaves, I'm pretty sure that I avoided them. So I went down and then up on the other side. Um, but for most, so the books, I went down and then up on the other side, down and then up on the other side. But for most of the things, I just went through it. The cactus, go through it. So it's gonna look a little bit wild at first because you're gonna have a lot of elements that these lines go through, if you know what I mean. Um, and you're gonna be like, huh, I don't know if this is gonna work, <laughs> but it will, I promise. Little by little, we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna use all six strands of both. If you're gonna use one color for the lines and one color for the X's, then you're good to go. Pick your color and get to it, yeah? I'm gonna show you how, of course. Um, I'm gonna choose two colors. I think I'm gonna use the green for the long lines and then this cream for the X's. So it kind of like pushes it into the background. So we're using all six strands. I'm not talking to you, babe. I'm not talking to you. I'm sorry. She's just like ran out from the living room and she's just staring at me like, do you need something? <laughs> I'm here. Now, there is a point in this, doing this uh, stitch, that you're going to look at and you're going to go, these are all wobbly and wavy. I don't know, Tori. I don't know. But have faith, okay? I promise you, it'll be okay. So I guess you can zoom in a little bit. It is quite a big hoop. So we're literally just going... Yeah? And we're just going the whole length of that. just like that. Okay. They're just long straight stitches. That's it. The only thing you have to really look out for is not pulling them too tight because you don't want your fabric to like kind of, uh, not cluster. What's it called? Pinch? No. Um, you know, Oh, it's like right on the tip of my tongue. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm just too excited for the stitch along guys. I'm really too excited. And it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? These lines, they don't have to be concertina. Maybe, actually. You know when they, like, um, bunch and you've got pucker? Yes, that's the word. Oh, you guys, you know me. <laughs> Coming on here, you're probably like, fuck's sake, Tori. Do you not know any words at all? I do know words, okay? I do. I do know them. But yeah, these don't have to be the exactly the same width apart. I just hand drew them and then I just guessed, okay? So there's not any like, I didn't measure them out or anything like that. They're meant to be a little bit like free forming. Well, it's Monday too, isn't it? So maybe it's just like a Monday thing. I'll be better tomorrow, I promise. So 
So I'm just going to do a couple more um, up and down, and then I'll do some side to side, and then you can see how to do the X's. Get out of the trash. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness. What are you like today? Stay out of the trash. Huh? It's just my recycling bag of paper, and for some reason, she really likes... Uh, she really likes balled up paper. So if you take any piece of paper, anything, and put it into a ball, she's like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, she just loves it. And so yesterday we were going through some things and like threw a bunch of things out. And of course David had to I'm just making sure that this makes sense. Yeah, okay. Of course, David had to do the ball every time just to be like, oh, look, Jesse. Oh, look, it's a ball. Ha, ha, ha. And now she's just gone like, hmm. There were some balls of paper in here. Now, like I said before, there's no reason to do any one of them before another one, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, she's... Is this what it's gonna be like, Jesse? The whole time. Can we not and say we did? Like. So if you're new here, my dog is called Jesse. Um, she likes attention very sassy. She's a husky mix with German Shepherd, Akita, Visenji, those four. And yeah. just gets into stuff she's not naughty but she likes uh, exploring we'll see that oh all the time I think what I didn't show you is how to start and stop your thread. I think that's what it is. What I was trying to... I mean, you should know how to do that anyways, yeah? Maybe I'll do a video of it later and make it into a reel. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a couple more of these just to finish this thread up and then I'll do the X's so that you can see what I'm talking about. So you can tell one strand or one length of thread gets you pretty far. I make mine a bit longer than I probably need to anyways, but it's a bit sideways. Okay, where can we end this? I'm just going under this one because when I pulled it over, it was pulling the line over. So I'll just go like that. If you've 
got any questions, just pop them in the box. And like I said earlier, I'm just going over, maybe I should stitch like in the, so you can see it, you know, that probably would be beneficial, but I'm going to do a knot here anyways, and then do the cream X's on top so you can see what that looks like, just in case you don't want to wait like 30 minutes, you know, then you guys can crack on if you want to watch some now and do it later. Okay, so with the X's, again, six strands. And we're just doing little X's, like cross stitch. Now, it looks really nice if you do it in the same way every time. So, like cross stitch, you do all one way, like boom, 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 boom. And then you go back and do the other way, boom, boom, boom. And then they all have the same uh, X. Do you know what I mean? They all have the same look, very uniform. I don't think I did it with mine. Well, some of, some of them I did actually. I'll show you. Okay, so here's what I mean. Mel says she's still trying to pick a color. <laughs> That's okay. So if you look at the little X's, I went from left to right and then right to left for each one. So they all have that um, top stitch of going that way, like that, okay? But I didn't do it for all of them because you can tell this one here, I didn't, and it goes the other way. So I did right to left and then left to right. But if you can, try and do it that way. Try and keep them all uniform so that they all have the same, like, the same look to them. And I will zoom in for this part. Okay, so choose, choose which way you're gonna do it. So I'll do this one first, yeah? And then straight over. And we're really just pinning them down. Okay, now if you don't like the look of the X, you can just pin it down once. That's okay too. But I'm going to do both ways. So it makes a little X like that. Yeah. And you're going to do that for every single intersection. Okay, that's why I'm saying you're never going to be caught up. I'm not saying it because you're not good at stitching or that you can't stitch fast. It's just a lot of stitching. <laughs> so please, 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 please don't, don't freak out. Don't, don't feel like you're behind or that you're a slow stitcher or that, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to get it done. Just do it, do it when you can. And if you don't have time, just do a little bit and then do it later. Oh my gosh, I've already messed up my pattern. It's because I'm trying to do it upside down, that's why. Let's see if I can't. Oh well, I'll just do it the other way. Just looks a little bit different when you do it the different way. Hannah says that looks so good. Thanks. Now, like I said earlier, you can do two colors if you want to, or you can do just the same color and make it kind of go back, like put be pushed back into the background a little bit more. Um, you can't really tell. This looks a lot lighter on this color, on the white. Um, but they actually look like this on the white sticky salvi. Well, they're actually these colors. So it's like a, a nice green and then like a creamy, a creamy white. So yeah, the colors will look a little bit different if you use the sticky salvi. 
And the way to get around that is to flip it over on the other side when you pick your colors. Um, so here, this color that you see on the screen is not the actual color of my fabric. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're picking your colors. If you're like, oh, this doesn't look good, flip it over to the back because the back will be the actual color of your fabric and not um, through the sticky solvy. But yeah, this is it. This is the whole thing. So what I'm going to try and do is do all of the instructions in the beginning, um, like I normally do. And then the rest of the time will be just to chat and we'll see how far we get. But I feel like I really need to stress it. You're not going to finish all of this in one day unless, you know, you really want to. Don't, don't feel stressed out. Don't feel like, oh, I have to finish it before tomorrow. I probably won't finish it before tomorrow. So don't, um, Gray Bird Crafts is a great tip. Just didn't think of that. I was having a really hard time, um, with some of mine because I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to look right. And I was like, oh my gosh, Tori, just flip it over. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Just flip it over and then you'll be able to see what it looks like. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, this shouldn't be like a stressful a stressful thing. Okay. And if you find yourself being like, oh my gosh, I have to finish it before tomorrow. You don't, you don't. Holy guacamole. I'm so excited for this though. It's going to be so fun. I can already feel it. Now, a couple of people had questions about colors and I was going to do a video last week about colors, but the more I thought of it, the more I didn't really have, I didn't really have a lot of tips and tricks without going way, way, way into like a color theory and stuff, um, which I haven't taught in a long time. So the easiest thing is to have a look at all of the elements and assign colors to those based on what kind of feel you want it to have. So if you want it to be like a neutral, like outdoorsy kind of feeling, okay? I'm being very broad with that, but think like greens and creams and browns and like colors found in nature, then pick all of those colors and just start assigning them to things. So for example, like bright pink wouldn't be in that. Okay, we're talking about like a neutral-ish kind of vibe. If you want to have like a neon kind of uh, super colorful home, like something that maybe you wouldn't have in your own home, this could be a really fun place to experiment with like neon colored wallpaper and like rainbow colored pots. And maybe she's wearing like you know, like a sequined flares or something like that. Like you can go as detailed or as crazy as you want to with it. Um, Pinterest is also a really great place to look for interior design inspiration. So if you want to look for certain color palettes or things like that, then you can look there. But also think about things like what colors are shelves. You can get shelves in all kinds of colors. Um, but if you want it to look like an actual house, then maybe like brown, black, white, gray. What about rugs? What about clothes? So you can go like as wild or as refined, we'll call it that, as you want to really. But honestly, that's the easiest, it's the easiest way for me to pick because I kind of pick a color scheme that I like, what I'm kind of going for. So I picked neutral for this and then we'll see what we come up with for the rest of it. So maybe the rest of it could be a little bit more wild. You also kind of have to think about the color fabric because I've picked this dark green fabric. Yeah, which means that I cannot use 
this dark green color for any of my plants. So think about that when you're picking too. So there's not one there. There's a little one here. Good morning from Indiana. My X's are looking like small balls. <laughs> That's okay. They're very, very tiny. We're not looking for big, big X's here. We're just doing small little tacking stitches. Now, I said earlier too that some people just like to do the one. Yeah, which is typically called like the lattice stitch just one to tack it down, but I like to do the X's. They take a bit more time, but I think they're quite interesting. Okay, I'm gonna do a knot on the back and then go back to the green and continue doing that for a little bit longer. And if you guys wanna chat, if you wanna ask questions, I know someone said, what is the part that you're looking most forward to doing? And to be honest, I, I really like the background. <laughs> I really, really like it. I don't know why. I feel like it's so fun because it's simple stitches, you know? They're just long, straight stitches on that X, a cross stitch in an X. But actually, they're quite effective. So think of this as being an advanced stitch along with stitches that you already know. Oh, there's like a... Hold on. What is that? I'm going to cut that off because it feels like it's going to give me trouble, but just more, more of an amount of it. And the reason I made the stitch long so big is because the details are really small. So you could probably get away with an eight inch shape if you wanted to, but I, I really don't like it when I've got one little strand and I'm trying to fill in a cactus with one little strand. You know what I mean? I'm like, can we just make it bigger? Okay, let's plan this right. How, where am I gonna start? I like to start on the edges so I can get my knot away from everything else. I'll move it up in a minute so you can see properly. I can't wait to see Stitch Little Jessie. That will probably be more like a thread painting type thing. So that way you can learn to like blend the colors a little bit. I'm just super excited, okay? Can you tell? I'm just really excited. I'm excited about all of it. Okay. Looks like this one goes all the way down here. Like that. Now this here, it's actually a little fringe, okay? So make sure you go all the way through there because you can see through the fringe. I know it's upside down, but it's just here. So you've got some straight lines. Where's my big sword to like point out? So you've got some big lines here, okay? Leave those there, but you need to stitch through that. So make sure... Yeah, just uh, FYI, because I didn't, and then I had to slide my needle underneath all of it. And it was, <laughs> wasn't very fun. But yeah, I guess what is the, what part do you guys want to stitch the most? Like, what part are you looking forward to the most? I love your excitement. Great <laughs> mood booster for the week. I just really love embroidery. Like, I just really love it. Like, I'm one of those people that just genuinely, I just really love it. Like, it's not just, um, like, it's not just, like, oh, I'm going to do another stitch along. Like, ugh. Like, I genuinely am so jazzed up about, like, everybody's, like, seeing everybody's hoops and, like, and, like, seeing what colors you pick. Ooh, Mel, Mel's excited about the blankets. I'm not going to lie, though. I feel like this blanket is genius. I feel like, I don't know what came over me, 
But this one here, huh? I'm sure if you look really hard, you can tell what all the stitches are. But they're all easy peasy stitches that you've all learned before if you've done one stitch along with me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any stitch along that you've done, we've done all of those. All of those stitches. So I've just combined, combined them. Oh. Now, this hoop that I got, <laughs> funny story. This morning, I was binding it because it's so wonky, but it's the last one I had. <laughs> so I ended up having to wrap it this morning before I did the live. Blankets. The blankets are going to be so fun. And we can always go back and add these little lines if we want to. So if you find like around here that you're like, hmm, I feel like we need another one. Like another little line to like make it make sense, you know? Then you can. So along this edge here, there's actually two lines and it looks like mine didn't actually print um, to the edge there. So let's just have a look because I've done some lines around here and it might just be that this one was a little bit smaller. It's so hard to see upside down. It's like a makes your brain flip. better okay where am I all right so let's think this go where's the dark one my problem with these friction um heat erasable pens is that I have them everywhere I have so many of them that I just like throw them everywhere and then I'm like oh where is it so this one goes up like that that one goes over like that Okay, so we can probably put one more in here if you think about how wide these are apart. Yeah, and where another one might be, be about here, I think. And again, we can always do this later too. Yeah, I've just got a Sainsbury's receipt here. And the other thing you can do is take a little line like this. Yeah. If you need to put one in. And put another one in like that. Because it looks like mine didn't print. Sorry, 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 sorry. nothing over here until we get up here I'm almost out of thread again that does use a lot of thread I mean, not that much. I still have this much. And I've got about half to go still. But if you have to go over it again, then of course you can. Meaning, if you just do what you can see and you can tell from right now, 
And then later you're like, oh, actually, it can even be when you take the sticky salvy off, you know? And you're like, hmm, I feel like there needs to be a line here. And you can do that. Okay, how are we? Do we understand? Do we have questions about today? today's part? This is all we're doing today. That's it. It's going to be a lot, though. So although it's simple, I'm still wearing my pajamas, by the way. And it's pouring down rain now. There we go. So this is what we have so far. I'll take it out of the hoop, hoop stand and turn it around so you can have a look. What do we think? It's really hard to see on this part, but I feel like the colors on the back are going to look so good together. And you can tell a little bit better. That's my hand. Yeah? So what do we think? Maybe I'll just do a little bit more. I get two going and I don't want to go. Do you know what I mean? I get to stitching and I don't want to, I don't want to stop. But yeah, that's, that's it for today. So if you want to go and like go back to bed, Melanie, <laughs> cause I think it's like 3 a.m. where she is. Yeah, or just like whatever. Make sure that you're liking and tagging um, if you want to show your progress, I'm I'm not expecting any progress to be done um, today, to be fair, because like I said, it's it's a lot of stitching. So if you're like, hmm, I have to get this done so I can tag Tori. No, don't. I'm not expecting it. Um, but when you do, when I tighten my fabric, some of my lines go wonky. How can I prevent this, please? I would make sure your fabric is tight from the beginning. Um, so you don't want to do the lines and then tighten your fabric. You want to have your fabric nice and tight. If you find that you cannot tighten it enough, then take some strips of fabric. I've just thrown that extra one. I threw it away. Um, but I made them about this thick. Yeah. You just draw the lines. I haven't started stitching. So you want to make sure that before you draw the lines, your fabric is tight because they are straight lines. The other thing you can do is just stitch over them and make sure as you're stitching, they're parallel to each other as best as you can get it. Like I said, I hand drew the lines. I didn't use like a tool to measure or anything like that because it's all hand drawn. Okay. The only thing that I did was make them a straight line. Um, so like in Procreate, if you draw the line and it's a little bit wobbly, I just made them straight as in you just hold the pencil and it like uh, snaps to like straighten the line. So that's all I've done, but I didn't measure at all. So that's why like this box here is bigger than this box here. Um, so yeah, I would just stitch it, stitch it straight like as best as you can. Like, it's not going to be perfect. This isn't like a geometry kind of thing. Um, so if you have, you know, like a thing where it, like it has to be perfect and it has to be straight and it has to be whatever, you should probably take my pattern and redraw it <laughs> and just redraw it nice and like how you want it to be because like, yeah, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Well, that's one thing to do with um with the straight lines is that oftentimes people will trace their fabric um sorry trace the pattern onto the fabric and then put it in a hoop and tighten it and that's one thing that can happen is that when you are tightening it up all of the lines will go wonky because you've drawn it on fabric that's not been stretched at all and then you go to stretch it. And you're like, oh. I'm using a square because the greenhouse was wonky. That's okay. You can. 
or like any kind of straight edge if you want to. Insta Stitch Daily says, what else is there to do on a wet bank holiday Monday? That's my excuse. Okay, right? Okay, this is definitely not the right line, so let's take that out. Because that's in line with the shelf, and this line is right under the shelf. My printer toner is probably going from all of the printing I've been doing. It's all the stick and stitch packs, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I need to stop. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay to take them out. Like, I think some people are like, oh, I'm so horrible because I can't get it straight. Like, it's okay. Just take it out and redo it. My problem is that I keep stitching into the fabric that I wrapped my hoop with. So I can't get it where I want it to go. I've just done it again. This is probably my sign to leave. <laughs> but I'll get this up um, uploaded to YouTube and I need to figure out what's wrong with the other video because the other video will not... I don't know why, but it just keeps failing. So the, the prep video, I mean. So I'll sort that out today as well. And then hopefully all of them will be up. I'll try to be better about uploading them ex like immediately after, because I know some people prefer that to the, do the YouTube ones. And since David's not working from home anymore, I don't have to wait because it would make the internet really slow. And then he couldn't do his zoom calls with the kids but yeah that's it for today so make sure you're tagging me at the barmy fox if you do finish anything um no pressure to finish at all and yeah and i'll share them in my stories throughout the month Let's just finish this one here. Maybe the start of the line is wrong. It could be. You never know. But the other thing is it's uh, right on the edge. So you just never know with me. I'm just uh, like, like to keep you on your toes, right? So yeah, I'm going to go upload the video. I can't wait to see. It makes such a big difference, though, doesn't it? This right here to this right here. To have them tacked down like that. It makes such a big difference. And it feels so good. Thank you. This is my first stitch along that I'm joining in with. And it's really fun so far. Yay! I mean, props to you for doing this one on your first one. So please don't stress out. Please. <laughs> I feel like I need to stress. <laughs> um, you're never going to be caught up. It's a lot of stitching. Don't hate me. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go. Um, the first day's done. And I will see you tomorrow for the next part. Okay? 10 a.m. I'll talk with you later. That's what happens to me with me. <laughs> All right. I'll talk with you tomorrow. And yeah, guys, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm like so excited. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great bank holiday Monday. If you're um, in the UK, it's awful. So at least it's keeping in tune with the whole bank holiday thing because we always seem to get rainy bank holidays, don't we? So this is a variation of the lattice stitch. The lattice stitch has the little X's like that. Normally just one. So there we go. But they're actually a combination of just straight stitches on the cross stitch. 
So there we go. All right, enjoy your day. I really have to go now because I keep delaying it because I just want to sit and chat. So enjoy, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. All right, bye. Bye, bye, bye.